Hey everyone, Zero Jada here with the X-Play Fans channel. Here we give you a quick taste of Wizards of Brandel. If you played any of the As Divine games, a lot of the stuff in this game will be familiar because it's essentially the uh, same developer, kind of the same mechanics with the gameplay, combat, and all that kind of stuff. The story is different. Uh, the story is actually kind of weird. Uh, you play as uh, Darius here. Uh, he is a sort of magic maker dude, and he has taken out a loan, didn't pay it back quickly enough, and his home got repossessed. So you kind of come and uh, start to live with this uh, wizard Mark who's super old, looks like a kid, very cliched anime kind of trope where, hey, I'm, I look like a little like 13 year old kid, but I'm like 300 and something years old. Uh, anyways, he has been, uh, Mark has been pegged as a evil, uh, like an evil overlord by the guild, who's this big old guild that kind of has power over the, all over the world kind of thing. And, uh, you don't believe he is evil. And then, of course, you have your, uh, your Erica and then, uh, F Philia, who I just got here, and they only have, they have their own stories. Erica's a member of the guild. And uh, Philia, apparently, uh, stuff happened when she was, like, earlier where she used to be a human and then she got into it turned into a demon human hybrid but now we're trying to go to the guild to kind of see exactly what's up why mark has been pegged to this evil overlord kind of thing and my own story about hey i need to get my house back but anyways if you've played any of these games a lot of this will be familiar you got the garden where you can grow items uh this lab here you actually just invest money straight up invest money and you can get like buffs in battle and then of course you can like fuse items, strengthen them, strengthen them, and then of course there's a shop. Uh, no, that is a not a real money shop. At least it's not as much as I have seen. There are items you can buy for, with real money, but this is used these little. Hold on, let's go on. You use these little stones to uh, kind of craft items. I don't have enough, but uh, essentially you can get uh, equipable items at random, and they can totally break the game. I am level. I am like an hour in and I have a armor suit that adds 400 defense or with this girl I got a weapon that added 119 attack points I two shot at a boss with this but yeah that kind of stuff will essentially break the game and then of course you have your normal equipment and stuff you can equip these cards that add extra little status effects like this gives me more vitality very standard RPG stuff uh, the garden like I said before if I wanted to I could be here and like hey I want to grow an item here or something like that and it takes like real life time and all that kind of stuff but uh, we're gonna go ahead and go uh the, there is no like real roaming you go to an area and then you go to the next area and then you go to the next area and so on and so forth can't go in there uh heads up there is a lot of expo exposition and i will probably be skipping a chunk of it here you go uh she is a familiar attached to Dar Darius everyone gets a familiar in combat because it's just an extra like person to fight with um, I am actually just gonna kind of skip this but yeah it's a world with magic all that kind of stuff people invent magic distribute magic sell magic stuff like that come on if you'll notice in the upper right there's this little uh sort of machine you can actually affect the spawn rate of enemies or just turn them off, which of course, when you get to the boss, kind of makes it harder because you haven't fought anything and leveled up. Uh, one of the previous games, uh, they didn't have the ability to like kind of find these extra weapons. Oop. Also, and everyone has their very cliche sort of personality. Uh, Erica has terrible sense direction. Philia is a scaredy cat. Darius has a past event that has affected him. Uh, for all the As Divine games, including this one, uh, there is the combat's essentially the same. You can auto attack, just repeat your last attack, use magic, use physical attacks, or use a sort of special attack. And of course, whenever you get to a story beat and finish that story beat, it does that on to the next part of the story with that little fanfare. And it is fairly annoying. There's a flower. This is probably another thing here. Uh, each person has their own sort of skill. Darius can divine these magical circles. Erica can slash down these uh, barriers. And I'm guessing this girl can affect flowers and go up there and get that item for me. 
again, like I said before, this is all kind of the same of the other games. Nothing really innovative, but nothing offensive. And uh, to level these up, you've seemed to be able, you've seemed to go around and find these hidden magic turtles who you inspect and then they vanish. All right, let's get some combat going here. Yes, yes, yes. We're not. Let's go ahead and switch over and then. Use the plant. You can probably get an item. Oh, she's got the tray. We're going to equip that. So I actually sold them all, but I had some trays that would probably have broken the game even more. All right, let's keep going. There we go. Here's some combat. Yep. Peach demons, stuff like that. You get items from these. So as you can see on the right side, I can defend. I can use a magic attack. I can... Uh, normal attack, and then I can retreat, auto attack, and repeat. We're just gonna auto attack because I am probably disgustingly overpowered. And that's it. So, yep, you're just kind of going through this world, going through the story. And uh, this combat, there are secret passages and stuff like that, and it's painfully pointed out in a cutscene like it is in every single one of these games. Let's look at some of the magic. Uh, let's see. Let's do this. Uh, if you look at the top, you can see turn order. Oh, I don't... Well, whatever. You get the idea. Oh yeah, this is Wizards of... Mages of Brendel, I believe. I don't re exactly remember. Wizards, Mages. Let's keep going. Even the um, sort of title screen is exactly the same as... Uh, everything else in all the other games in this series. Oh, I got a thief chain. Come on, I can make it. There it is. But yeah, the shop mechanic fully breaks the flow of the game because everything becomes so easy. That's a secret path right there. Ooh, back attack. Yep. Can I pick that up? Nope. So items in certain looking chests are always a certain item. You get that gorgeous suit. But yeah, you, like, look at that increase. Just because that's an item that I actually got from, this, like, this, this is a starting sword. I lose 129 attack. And, like, this was the beginning armor. And then I get this. That's 380 defense. So everything, probably for the next few hours, would just be hitting... Like, a one. But yeah, the, like, if you want to... Mm, oh, yeah, yeah. I believe that was in another game, if not the previous one. They seem to mix and match stuff that they've had for other games. I do like that his weapon is a chain that he just kind of beats people with. I wonder if there's, like, a bicycle lock on the end of it. He just smacks people with. Aha, pervert is. So I switched to Erica cut open the path and most likely at the end of this before I get out there will be a boss and then of course saving loading uh, there is uh, down here is something that's been in the uh, game before uh, as you complete certain tasks you can get rewards these are actually usually tied to achievements but yeah that's that's about it I am I am not non offended by the game it's just kind of exactly what they've done before there you go wizards of brandel is the name of the game i could suggest this if you haven't played any of the as divine games if you played the other as divine games and really enjoyed them you probably like this you can review the game from the front but yeah uh, chemco and x crate are create are the exact same people who've done all the as divine games and all that kind of stuff like that this one has a lot of story and talking there was another one that was way worse but they haven't seemed to actually gotten a good balance of action and talking uh this one is actually pretty bad at the beginning you don't actually get to really do anything until like 30 minutes in there is that's kind of when you're like allowed to kind of go out and do stuff but anyways i am zero jetty this is the x play fans channel this was wizards of brandle thank you very much for joining me if you have any questions ask down below 
Uh, like, comment, subscribe. It helps us out a ton. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.